Hey everybody, I'm Judith Taby and welcome to my channel if you're new and if you're returning, thank you for checking out this video. I know it's been a minute since I've done a video, but Universe had me taking a, a retreat, a respite, a rest. We all need to do that sometimes. Just step back and recharge and not do anything, just sit. Um, but today I'm doing a Twin Flame Collective General reading of what's blocking your reunion. So I'm going to try a little new format today where I'm going to uh, leave where you see the shovel, shoveling, <laughs> shuffling, somebody shoveling out some crap right now, I feel like, <laughs> uh, the shuffling. So uh, let's have three piles, please, universe. What is blocking their reunion? Three cards, please. For pile one. What card for pile one, viewers? Thank you. And pile two, viewers. One card, please, for pile two, viewers. One card for pile three viewers, please. What's blocking their reunion? Okay. And then, if you like to pick by crystals, pile one viewer, we have a garnet. Pile two viewers, the howlite. And pile three viewers, mark a site. So pile one, pile two, and pile three with garnet, howlite, and mark a site. Okay. Thank you, Spirit Angels. What is blocking Twin Flame Reunion for Pile 1 viewers? Okay. What's blocking Twin Flame Reunion for Pile 2 viewers? Thank you, universe and spirit and guides. We appreciate all your guidance and love and support. What is blocking reunion for pile two viewers? Can we have a card, please, for pile two viewers. be listing in the description box below all the decks that I'm using today. Thank you, Universe, Spirit, Guides, Angels. What is blocking Twin Flame Reunion for Pile 1 viewers? Please make it obvious. Thank you. Reunion for pile two viewers. Thank you, Angus. 
And for pile three viewers, please. What is blocking? Twin Flame Reunion. Pile three viewers. Please make it obvious. Thank you. Oh, that's a lot of cards. Okay, they want all of them. Okay. So I'm curious as to how they're going to show me shoveling instead of shuffling. Because, I mean, at least where I am now, we're in spring coming into summer. Shoveling dirt for a garden, maybe. Shoveling the crap. I just kept hearing shoveling the shit. <laughs> shoveling the shit. <laughs> okay, universe. For pile one viewers, please. We have a card for pile one viewers. What is blocking? Our twin flame reunion. Blocking King Flame Reunion. Okay. And pile three viewers. What is blocking? And right now at this moment there is a dude walking by my house smoking weed. And I have my windows open, so now it's wafting in. Um, so, pile three viewers. I don't know. That's something. Sorry, I just bumped the camera. That's something that maybe will help you. Maybe you need to smoke some weed. smell toast. Somebody making toast right now? Very distinct toast scent. Uh, one viewer's toast. Toast with blueberry jam. I don't know if someone's having toast with blueberry jam right now, or you should. Okay, that's interesting. That looks like burnt toast. <laughs> okay, pile two viewers. Thank you, universe. What is blocking the twin flame reunion for pile two viewers? Please make it obvious. Viewers. 
two viewers. What is blocking your reunion? You know, what's interesting is so far, <laughs> each pile, the Eight of Wands has flipped over within the shuffle. It's not coming out though. Pile three viewers. What is blocking your reunion? Pile three viewers. What is blocking their reunion? and help this universe giving you. Okay. I have two viewers. What help and advice is the universe giving you? Reviewers. Okay. okay. Okay, so here we have more piles. So pile one. The shape shifter in reverse. Pile two viewers, yours is trust with the hollow light. And pile three, surrender in reverse. So I will put timestamps below so you can jump right to your decks. Pile one with garnet, pile two with halite, and pile three with malachite. See you at your pile. Hi, pile one viewers. You selected the garnet. And the shape shifter in reverse. So... The shape, this card speaks of um, lies, deceit, not trusting your instincts, and you're not paying attention to the signs that are around you. All right, let's see what else we have for you. Soulmate, sexuality. So this card, number four, um, it speaks about how you, you have to, you're not loving yourself. And, and I don't mean that in the sense of, you know, doing the things that you enjoy doing. It's about looking in the mirror and loving every 
part of you. Um, this card speaks of standing naked in front of a mirror and look at yourself. Love yourself. No shame or guilt for any past um, encounters or experiences that you've had. You have to release all that. And just love your body and love yourself. And that's what will draw in your, your soulmate. I mean, as you know, there, our beloveds are always with us. But I, like, when I look at this card, I, I feel like I, they're showing me how she's, like, touching herself. Um, and she needs to see, and I say she, but I'm just, it's a feminine energy that's coming through. You have to see your beauty. And that's what will draw in your soulmate. Now, this is a general reading, so I so I'm getting they're showing me two different things here. For some of you, it's it's a self-love thing and you need to stand in front of the mirror naked and look at yourself and look how beautiful you truly are. And forgive yourself and release any shame or guilt for anything in the past. And then for the some of you, what's blocking your reunion is you're with someone who is a soulmate, but who's not your twin flame. And it, it seems like that relationship is just a sexual one. And you can't be doing that. If you know... If you know this person is not your beloved, this energetic exchange that you're clinging to with them is not going to bring in your beloved. You have to release those who are not. And yes, we have, it's hard to be alone. But when you're alone, that's when you can truly see your self-worth and your self-value and love yourself and look in the mirror and say, I, I am a beautiful, sexy being that doesn't have to, hmm, now I'm showing me this card again, the lies, the deceit, you are self-inflicting this if you're being in a casual relationship with someone or even in a monogamous relationship with someone who is your soulmate, but not your true twin flame, you're lying and deceiving yourself. And that is going to prevent your twin from coming, your beloved from coming in. Interesting. So pile one viewers, I have... Two different stories going on here all right arrogant if you're insecure or fear rejection this behavior surfaces work on accepting your true self and give yourself love as you are needing it see I just spoke of that out of fear fear of being alone or being rejected you're you're lying to yourself and sacrificing. Rejection. I know it's a tough, it's a tough thing. Rejection is tough, but I always say this. Rejection is God's protection. You, you deserve what universe has waiting for you. And your beloved is out there waiting for you. But you're settling for something that's just sexual. And it's putting you in this state. Once you accept that you are enough and that you deserve 
what universe has out there waiting for you, you need to release this and love yourself, your self-worth, your self-value. Resentful. Think loving thoughts for the person or yourself that you resent. It's, your rest it's restricting your emotional happiness. Interesting. So now they're showing me They're putting me, okay, this is going to be definitely for someone in particular, but they're showing me that you know who your beloved is, you know who your twin flame is, and they're rejecting you, and you're resenting that. You're resenting them, and so you're putting yourself in... Because, like, you're saying, hey, they're out dating whoever they want. Why can't I? Why can't I have all this? And that's self-destructive behavior. Because one thing that you might not be aware of is when your beloved sees you loving yourself, valuing yourself, that's going to draw them in. You have to hold space for your beloved. You can't, first of all, it's very, it's very arrogant for you to be in relations with other people knowing that they're not your beloved. That's very arrogant of you. And it doesn't matter what they're doing. Remember, you have your journey to go through as do they have their journey to go through and believe it or not those relationships that they're going through is going to make them a better person for you lessons they will learn things they know they don't want so when they when you two can come into union you guys are going to be perfect for each other so you need to release and step out like don't like at first I hear don't settle don't be don't be complacent and second I hear why do you need to have someone you you're afraid of being alone or rejection that's the like that you there's ugh. I can't even find the words. Taking a break is what they're, they're, I'm hearing. Take a break. Take a break. Take a break. Be alone. Why do you need to have someone? Give yourself alone time. Where you, you're expelling too much energy to something that's not for your greatest and highest good. The star... Blessings, inspiration, time to shine. It's bringing me back to here. Like, you need to be able to look in the mirror and see that you are a shining star. You are the North Star, which will bring your, your beloved to you. So they need to see you shining as a star. They need to see that you love and value yourself enough that you become their North Star, which will guide them to you. Fire. Transformation, rebirth, renewal. Yeah, you need to burn away all of the lies and deceits you're telling yourself burn away this resentfulness and arrogance I'm hearing go outside let the sun rays warm you and burn the fire within you to cleanse all this away from you 
rebirth and renewal. Pentacles. So there's a mountain within. All right, let's see here. Temperance. Five of Cups in reverse. Ten of Wands. Yeah. Burn it all away. Got to ignite that fire and burn away all this guilt and shame and burden. Eight of Cups in reverse, walking away. This is making making me feel like, see how everything's mirrored? It's mirrored. So by you not loving and valuing yourself, your person is mirroring that same behavior. So you're being resentful, but you're the one causing this. <laughs> you Like, do you get that? They're reflecting back to you what you're putting out. This is a mirrored image. And I feel like this to me is like, they're showing me this is your third eye. You're not trusting your intuition and instincts. You're not paying attention to the red flags and the signs. You're lying to yourself. You're deceiving yourself. The Five of Cups, you know, speaks of you're crying over spilt milk. Not seen in the regular tarot, you know, the two cup, the person is looking at the three cups spilt and the two cups are um, behind them. But what I'm seeing here is the three cups are in the upright and the two cups are spilt. So this behavior that you're doing has is leaving you with your two cups empty. You're out, they're making me feel like third party. You know, the three cups can represent a third party situation. So when I look at this card, they're showing me you're you're in a third, you're creating a third party situation and you're ignoring your two of cups. And you, this burden is, you, you, you created this destruction. You know, fire burns and destroys, but it also gives life and rebirth and renewal. This burden that you're carrying, you're the one that's torched it. You need to walk away. You need to walk away. Now, this is a general reading. And again, like I said, there's two different stories they're showing me. So the one here that's with someone they know is not their person, you need to walk away from that. But you haven't been. And because you haven't walked away, that's what's blocking your reunion with your, your beloved. This is just making me feel like you have created this mountain within you. And you're not, like you can't move a mountain. Right? So all that's happening right now, you feel like, why even bother? I can't move a mountain. Wow. So... Wow, one viewer is that they're just making, they're showing me like you have created so much destruction 
by your actions and behavior. And, and look like, look, see how they're sitting with their arms up behind their head like they're laying back, like, like laying back in a hammock. Just laying there like, why even bother? I can't move a mountain. That's how you feel inside. You know you've just you know you have just burnt destroyed. I just hear destruction. You know it. So you're like, why even bother? I can't move a mountain. Which is leaving your two of cups completely empty. And you're putting yourself, you're lying to yourself, you're deceiving yourself by putting you in the this. Because of fear of rejection and being alone. But the more you put yourself in there, the more your your beloved's mirroring that to you. Wow, like I'm in that energy right now. It's just like, I can't, I don't, angry is not the word, but it's like, oh, just fed up, sick of this. The resentfulness and the arrogance. They're, oh, I don't like this energy. They're putting me in. Ah, please release me from this energy. Whew. Wow. All right. Yeah. What is your advice from universe? Maintain your positive state. That's what you need to do, Pile 1 viewers. You need to come out of this resentful vibration, this arrogance vibration. Come out of fear. Start trusting your intuition and paying attention to the signs. Start loving yourself and releasing what you know doesn't belong to you and walk away from this. Start loving yourself. Light this fire and release these burdens. Okay, pile one viewers, what final message does universe have for you today? energy right now and it, it's very unsettling the anger but i don't even want to use anger it's just what's the word synchronicity on divine time flow state meaningful coincidences okay right so so they're bringing me back to you're not trusting your intuition and the signs. You got to start paying attention. It's not like coincidences are synchronicities. They're signs from universe. Like here, there's two dolphins playing. The water is calm. The sail, but there's the beacon, the lighthouse, and this is lighthouses have been flooding my. Facebook pages race lately. I don't know why. I know why. I just, I don't know like how it, you know, universe, we all know why. Universe is always giving us signs and signals. But you need to love yourself and become that shining star. And like I said before, when you're that shining star, that North Star, you become the beacon to bring your dude, your dude, whoever, male or female, your person home. Dolphins speak of playfulness and fun. And this is all calm waters. Smooth sailing is what I hear. When you can release all this and just not be with someone, just be with yourself and release all this, you will then become the beacon to bring your person home and they'll be smooth sailing. 
on divine time, flow state, meaningful coincidences. So start paying attention to the signs. The universe is giving you so many signs. You're not trusting them. And you got to stop this path of destruction that you're on. It's not serving you at all. Okay, that's all that I have for you, Pile 1 viewers. Thank you. I truly appreciate you being here. I love you. You are loved. Love yourself. Please click the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And all my information is in the description box below. I do personal readings remotely and in person if you're in the northern New Jersey area. And again, I truly appreciate you being here. Thank you. Hey, Pile 2 viewers. You selected the Howlite and the Trust card. So as you know, trust, trust speaks of surrendering to universe and trusting the process trusting the signs that we see trusting your intuition and this card you know you've got the cocoon the caterpillar the cocoon and the transformation to the butterfly and then taking flight all right let's see trust what is blocking your reunion with your twin flame? Procrastination. Okay, so procrastination speaks of, you know, you know, like they're showing me you have bills to pay, you gotta go to work, you gotta clean the house. These are all things you have to do. Well, not go to work, because you gotta go to work, so you go to work, but you procrastinate with paying bills Oh, hold on a second. Sorry about that. That would be my dog, Duke, telling you to stop procrastinating. <laughs> um, all right, let's see. Procrastination and trust. These definitely go hand in hand. Like, you're not... You're not trusting the process. Each step takes time, right? But you have to go through each step and procrastination, putting the take, putting off the steps that you know you need to do. Inconsiderate, act with compassion and kindness. Be thoughtful. It just feels better on the inside. Thoughtful and polite. Hmm. Vengeful. Find a better way to heal your anger. This negative emotion comes back full circle. All right, let me get another card here. Rest. Give yourself time to recuperate. All right, why do I feel like... This energy that you're in, vengefulness and inconsideration, is you're procrastinating being in this these energies here. Rest gives yourself, you know, it says give yourself time to recuperate, but resting is also very important because you need to um, regain your energy, right? Resting, taking naps, being kind to yourself, doing things, taking it easy recuperates your energy. So recuperating your energy
That way you're procrastinating, you just feel completely drained. Okay. This energy of anger, negative emotions, inconsiderate, has drained you energetically. And that's so this, these energies that you're in is causing this procrastination. So the universe is saying to rest, recharge your energy so you can take these steps needed. Trust the process is what I hear. The lovers, son of cups, five of swords in reverse, eight of wands, the hanged man, Two of Cups in reverse. What's interesting, look at this, the hanged man. That is this. Identical. You see this? So this resting, go into your cocoon. That's what they're showing me. This time of resting. Dog is saying, Yep, rest. It's time to go into your little cocoon here. That's the first step. First step is going inward, right? Um, the lovers, the son of cups. You need to replenish your like, replenish yourself. See, they're he's drinking and filling up. Energetically. So the Five of Swords is no more fighting, not like this vengefulness and anger. It's time to end that. No more, no more fighting. Eight of Wands, the lightning bolt. Like, uh, I feel like once you go take this first. They're showing me when you take this first step of resting, going into your cocoon, when you're in there, and my phone just beeped, um, Source will provide you with the energy. Like, look at how they're recharging you. Like, all that electric energy recharging you. That's the first step. And... And this energy that you're in is blocking you from your Two of Cups. It's blocking you from this. Your love, your true love, your beloved. All right. So they want me to rearrange these cards like this. Hanged man in reverse, the seven of swords in reverse, and the ace of swords. Yep. So I'm going to move this card to here. Procrastination. You know the steps that need to be taken, right? You know the steps. And the first step is going into your little cocoon to rest and recharge fill up fill yourself up with love release stop battling release all this act with compassion and kindness thoughtful and polite it just feels better on the inside see so on the inside Act with compassion and kindness. Be thoughtful and polite. It just feels better on the inside. See, so that's what you need to, you need to replenish yourself on the inside. Find a better way to heal your anger. This negative emotion comes back full circle. Yeah, you, you're only destroying yourself. And by 
this destruction, you're preventing, you're preventing this from happening. So you need to change your pers like this. So the hangman came out. The hanged man card came out twice. However, this one is in reverse. Right? So you not you need to look at it from a different perspective. When I look at it this way, I feel like he's standing upright and enlightened. Like he's got it. Univer and they're showing me this card again. Like the lightning bolt coming down from universe and lighten up like whew, I get it now right so you need to start stop procrastinating start the process that you know you have to go through the metamorphosis it's not going to happen overnight but you need to do this for yourself seven of swords and the Ace of Swords. All right, so the Seven of Swords speaks of liar, liar, cheating, right, stealing. So so by gaining this new perspective, you'll come out of the lies you're telling yourself and truth will be shown to you. And the truth is that you have to trust the process. You know this, but you're procrastinating on it. Give yourself a break, right? You gotta start with step one. All right, well, how's universe helping you? Fulfillment. from the book about this fulfillment. So this message is from the guides and angels of the light. Your ultimate fulfillment comes not only from satisfaction and growth in the physical world, but through things such as money, abundance, connection with others, fun new experiences, travels and learning. These are all possible for you and part of what you are here for, but they are only the beginning. They are the physical. You are much more than simply a physical being. You are spirit at your core and the fulfillment you seek here on earth now, the why behind living during a tumultuous time of change and ascension, a time where energy is accelerated and amplified lost my spot where I was reading this uh, time where energy is accelerated and amplified is that you are here to connect fully with your mind body and spirit uniting these forces as one through your experiences your open heart allows you to connect with the knowing and guidance of your spiritual being tune into the force of light all around you let this energy build and grow big as you breathe and draw your awareness to it in this place of quiet mind, still body, and open heart, your energy is in alignment with divine love. This is where all the growth and change, all you desire in your life and your physical experience begins. By creating first on this inner plane with your heart open and your con consciousness connected to source, you will find that your manifestations are able to flow with ease and grace. You are able to manifest blessings in your life and the lives of others, aligning with true fulfillment by co-creating simultaneously in the physical, mental, and spiritual realms with the energy of love. Wow, so this truly, like, it's, this is everything here, right? Energy, enlightenment, fill yourself with love. I love what all the cards. <laughs> all right. And what, one last message does universe have for you? Pile two viewers. 
How are you helping five two viewers? I need advice. Everyday magic. Cultivate magic in the mundane daily spiritual mindfulness. Now remember when I spoke about procrastination, like you know, you have to pay your bills and you have to clean your house. Look, she's washing the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> cultivate magic in the mundane daily spirituality and mindfulness <laughs> yep stop procrastinating pile two viewers okay i hope this helped um i truly love you and am so thankful that you're here please click the like and subscribe button if you haven't already um if you'd like a personal reading, it's my information's in the description box below. And I look forward to connecting with you again next time. Love and light. Hi, Pile 3 viewers. Thank you for checking out this video. You selected the Marcus site. And your card was the Surrender card in reverse. So as you can imagine, what this represents is that you're not trusting the process. You're not allowing yourself to just go with the flow. Let's see. Take off your mask. It's, oh, it's plural. Take off your masks. Number 11. see what we have here emotionally detached are you protecting yourself from unwanted drama or stress feel positive emotions within yourself to feel emotions is to live freely unworthy think deeply and ask yourself why you are not worthy of the situation at hand defensiveness hear other people's perspectives and feelings shift your focus to them it's not always about you They want me to read from the book about take off your mask. You cannot get the love and attention you are craving by pretending to be someone you are not. Why are you so frightened to be honest with yourself and others? Do you feel that you will lose friends and opportunities by showing others your imperfections, fears, and vulnerabilities? Are you constantly doing things to please others, even if doing this does not work for you? This card indicates that you need time to get to know yourself. Oh, interesting. I thought I had put my phone on Do Not Disturb. But that came through loud and clear, Pile 3 viewers. This card indicates that you need time to get to know yourself and what is important in your life. You will know you that you are evolving when other people's judgments of you no longer impact you. If you have an incredible talent, believe in yourself. Don't hide your greatness because others feel envious or resentful. Remember, every great leader had people who loved them and believed in them as well as those who doubted and disliked them. Yeah. So this defense, defensiveness, here are other people's perspectives and feelings. Because it might not actually be about you. And you have, you're wearing this mask. Do you feel that you're not worthy? And you're protecting, are you protecting yourself from the drama? Interesting how these all. Yeah, you're not surrendering. <laughs> Guidance. You are divinely guided. Yep. So universe is saying... Come on, surrender. This is smooth sailing here. We're 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 guide. You are, you are loved and being guided. Universe, all your angels and archangels and spirit guides and source are all guiding you. They will not steer you in the wrong direction. They want me to point out that you are not alone in this little kayak. In the, like you are so being guided 
And you need to surrender and trust that. Like, see how they're leading the way? See, you're... You're... Yeah, you're just... You feel like you're in this little boat by yourself. It's a kayak, yeah. Because you've not surrendered. But you're being divinely guided. Anything and everything that's happening to you is happening for you. Not to you, but for you. And you need to surrender that. And take off your mask and show who you truly are. And you will be loved. You are loved. Ten of Wands in reverse. Yeah, you have to release that burden. Knight of Pentacles. Seven of Wands in reverse. And Page of Wands in reverse. Yeah. You need to release the burden of wearing this mask. And don't, you don't need to be defensive. Trust and surrender. Speak freely of who you are, what you want, because you are worthy. Page of Wands and Knight of Pentacles. Oh. It is a slow process. Universe... on these two cards but clearly what's blocking your reunion with your beloved is that you haven't surrendered to the process and trust that you're being guided and you're still people pleasing rather than showing who you truly are which is a beautiful soul you're you're a beautiful soul let the world see who you truly are The Empress, uh, the Emperor in reverse, and the Father of Cups. All right, so yeah, you've been so stuck in your brain that you like it's rooted down deep. Your unworthiness, and that's why you wear that mask. It's so rooted deeply in you. That it is going to take time. A it's going to take a slow process for you to they're making me f feel like you've got this unworthiness so deeply embedded and rooted in your head Again, we're not supposed to think from our head. We're supposed to think from our heart. You're so deeply rooted in this unworthiness that you're going to have to give yourself time because it's going to be a very slow process for you to get into the Father of Cups energy where you're so filled with love and have every your emotions in place. so emotionally detached that they're even blocking your blocking yourself from surrendering you know, you're lacking the self-confidence does the universe have for you? Nurture your physical body. Now what they're showing me here, so this is interesting, look. See this beautiful soul? What's right there? Ballerina slippers. Ballet slippers. And what? 
That's to me that's a ballerina pose. Might be yoga, but I think it's more ballerina. But look how universe is shining light, sending healing, loving energy, and it's um, cascading all around her and enveloping her. And I say her, I'm just it's energy. That's doesn't matter if you're male or female, but the energy. By you removing your mask and dancing to who you truly are and surrendering, trusting that universe is guiding you. Like, look, I feel like they're, it's almost, I don't want to say like puppet and strings, but universe is like you're a marionette dancing. And you, these are all loving strings of support and guidance and they're moving you all I'm like I'm having a difficult time getting the words out but like universe is guiding you they're mo the, every movement that you're doing you are being they're 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 pulling all the strings here they're the ones so you have to surrender surrender to this let them guide you let them let them trust and it's going to take time because you've got it so deeply embedded in your brain that you are unworthy but when you surrender and let them guide you and you release the burdens of this and no more fighting it no more self lack of self-confidence then you'll be in your king of cups and that's what will bring your person into you. Right? You can't you can't be in reunion with your twin if you are not loving yourself. You're not you have to be your true authentic self. Because don't you want so the universe is showing me right now, like, do you want your person, the your true twin flame of light beloved that universe has selected for you do you want them to love the person that you're showing everyone to be with this mask i would hope not i would hope that you'd want them to love you who you truly are whether if you like to dance or go kayaking whatever like maybe you'd like to do like crazy things i don't know maybe you're really into the human anatomy and the brain and how the brain works <laughs> you know like and you think that's weird that you like looking at okay all right so now they're showing me there's a youtube channel the human institute of anatomy i think it's called and where they have cadavers and they have peace like the, whatever the topic is of that video for the day they'll have that there and like they've done many where there's an actual brain and they're showing you the brain i recently discovered this channel and i find it fascinating i'm learning so much so you might think that that's weird like that you like looking at body parts <laughs> and so you're wearing this mask but if this is something that you truly love and enjoy You'd want to bring, you'd want your person to know that. And because maybe they do too. You know, like your person as is perfect for you because universe, like this is not, I don't know. They just keep showing me what's blocking the, your reunion with your beloved is because you're not t being your authentic true self. Because remember in the twin flame dynamic, there's similarities you, there's there's almost identical life stories or things that you both love and like and experiences they're they're matched right so you have to be your true self cuz that's what's going to draw that person in because if if they love this and are into this and they think you're not they're going to think you think that they're weird, right? Like, remember how we mirror each other? 
that's all. I just, I just, they're shout, making me say, this is just silly. This is just silly. Take the mask off. Be who you truly are because that's who your beloved loves, who you truly are. You're being silly. You're so deeply rooted in that, that now you just, it's just being silly. You don't need to protect yourself. What final message, universe, do you have for Pile 3 viewers? What final message? Thank you. <laughs> Guidance from Spirit. Awareness above your head. Spirit is communicating. Support. So, yeah. Look at all look at all that support. Right? You've got all this support from spirit. Like I said, they got this. They're in control. They've got this. Just surrender. This is beautiful. Like the I just feel like you could like literally they're showing me the, the fool card. Just jump off that cliff. You are being, and I don't mean it literally. <laughs> I mean, it's okay to take that leap of faith and remove your mask. Dance to who you truly are because they are the master marionette. Look at all that guidance and support. Surrender, and that will bring in union. I hope that helped Pile 3 viewers. Um, please click the like and subscribe button if you haven't already. If you are interested in a personal reading, I have all my information below in the description box. And as always, you are loved. I truly appreciate you. Love and light.